All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's Mr. Nelson, Wednesday, May 6th. And we're starting something new uh, this week. It's really the introduction to our last and final unit, which studies cosmology, the Big Bang, the origins of the universe, and, and the potential fate of the universe. And all of these ideas, um, all of these possible questions that we have now concerning how did the universe begin and how will the universe end, is rooted in something that Edwin Hubble did in the late 1920s and something you're going to begin studying on Hubble's Law today. So there's a, a lab that you're going to do all week. Um, the updates describes the agenda and uh, you're going to explore half of it today, half of it Friday, the Hubble's Law Lab. If you uh, read through the agenda, you'll see the, the detailed description. Uh, the lab is shared with you here in Friday's calendar. You each have your own copy. The uh, link will direct you to a, a wonderful introduction. This introduction to Hubble's Law is the historic background of how Hubble collected his data in 1929. And please read this carefully. Uh, you can get some additional support for this in chapter 24, but the reading in the lab does an outstanding job explaining um, Hubble's Law. This is a graphic of some of his original work, and you are also going to see some graphics um, explaining how Hubble's Law is connected to our understanding that the universe had a beginning of time and how much time it's had since the Big Bang, which is where we're going to eventually arrive. We're going to start to calculate the idea of when that Big Bang happened and how long it's had, how much time it's had to expand into its current size. Um, these images here, this is the foundation of the lab today. You're going to see the uh, five galaxies that Hubble first saw, Hydra, Boetes, Corona Borealis, Ursa Major, Vir Virgo, and the light that uh, he received down at the Mount Wilson Observatory. You can see these light spectral graphs. Um, and you have a series of, of prompts. There's 13 steps today to complete. Um, I have provided some measurements for you. I've measured uh, the uh, diameter. Uh, I posted it in red ink here. I've given you some deep hints here. You would have normally needed a ruler to do some measurements. And as you go through uh, the prompts, it'll ask you to record all your data into this data table. Now, I filled in some of the data for you. The rest of the data that you will fill that you will fill in based on these five galaxies um, can be calculated by just following the prompts. And this is sort of a recreation of what Hubble did uh, back in 1929. And as you start to collect this data today, you are going to uh, construct a graph and plot five points from the five galaxies, these five galaxies and uh, connect those points to find a line of best fit because they will show a positive linear relationship and you will find the slope m and that information when you go back to your uh, Schoology page is what you have to report today Hubble's Law Lab Part 1. So it's going to ask you to complete those first 13 steps. Um, complete the work in the document that you have. You can use some scrap notes, but you're going to eventually turn in that entire lab Friday. And today, post your response to part 13, which is about the uh, the graph and the slope of the line that you get. You have the units, include units in your slope, uh, along with an explanation of what this value represents. And different students will have different solutions depending on how you graph the line of best fit. Um, that's okay. There's a range of values that are perfectly acceptable. You're going to pick up on this lab Friday, and on Friday, you're going to finish it. I call it Hubble's Law Lab Part 2, and you will submit that lab document that's already shared with you. Good luck on this. Again, send me emails and messages, any questions that you might have. I will uh, respond, and until next time, all the best. Bye-bye.